Hi folks. All right. I'm going to try to do this real quick here. This is the setup phase uh, for a three-stage recirculating electric high banker with an invention at the base of it that's uh, universal. This will be attachable to any dry washer, high banker, recirculator, anything you want. I call this easy lift and I'm going to show you the whole demonstration of setup. So the first thing you do to set up your easy lift is open it up. There you go. It stands on its own. Maybe do just a quick... Uh, there you go. Now here's the other section of Easy Lift here. So it's all based down to fold up nice and neat already. You just fold those out. All right. We'll get that setting down on there. All right, there we go. Remember, this is a prototype. Here's your front legs. You stick them in. There we go. Okay, now I can adjust the back side just a little bit so it's level to the front side. And it's got these knobs on the back you can turn and lock those legs. There we go. So there's the system locked up. First thing you do is to you take your second sluice box here. You'll bring that into the underneath. You hook your hook up in the front, like so. In the back here, one bolt goes through there. And one bolt goes through there. I'm going to take this nut here and only quickly uh, just set it on there. All right, so there's your bottom sluice. Here's your upper sluice box, right there. Here's your grizzly. Now I can adjust this so it'll sit at the right angle. There we go. Now your grizzly's sitting on it. You got a two-stage system here. Let me grab the third stage and you'll show, see that. All right, so here it is. Third stage here goes up inside of right there. And so you take these little clips. And they're built to be a little tight here just because otherwise they won't hold on there. So there's that on. Here's your dual recirculating tanks, which sit underneath that just like this. With this going back up into your sluice box. Right there. So, there it is, set up. Now I'll show you real quick what the back end's for. Here's the bucket of material. You take your bucket of material, and on this back gate right here, you set it up on there, like so. This will now lift up onto your system as a brace and a lock. So now your material holds itself up there. It's adjustable for angle and you have a gate you can open and shut and feed the material into your sluice box system here. You don't have to hold any of this weight. You don't have to use a bucket either. The tray itself can be shoveled into. Uh, so let me get the camera and show you it up close. So here's the third stage. That's where the rocks will come out. You've got screens going through. That'll make sure the water falls through with very little material making it back into your recirculator. Inside of this is black ribbed matting. There's where your sluice box falls into it. Like that. Nice and sealed. And you can come through right here and you can see the bottom stage. It comes up to the grizzly section which would be angled like so up to your upper stage. 
And then uh, you got a helicopter going over into your bucket. And then you have your gate. So there's your gate right there. So there's the video of the system. Mr. Teslonian here. Uh, hope you can handle the wind in the shot here. I hope the sound's not too much. I'm going to go over some of the mechanical operations of the Easy Lift system here. You can tell here how the, uh, the containers were cut. They link together right here. The water will fill in the big blue one and come out and fill the yellow one. Uh, so that, here's your first settling tank. This way you get very little sands back in your pump system. Uh, I've got screen inside of the lower, the third stage here. I hope you can see that down in there. It makes it so the rocks and, and the material actually end up all the way down. You can scoop them out the end and very little gets back into your tub. Just the water. Uh, inside the tube, we've got uh, that black rib matting. I'll have to show you in another episode. That's your third stage. And that just feeds in at the end of your sluice box there. That the second stage sluice box feeds into the end of that pipe. There's your second stage sluice box. You can see the grizzly here is a uh, grate from a uh, oven. And all I did is on the sluice box flare, so the material wouldn't blow off the back side of it, is I put a piece of window frame right here, and I bolted that on right there. So it creates a, a backlip, and that way the big rocks, you don't really have to classify this with this system. It's because it's triple stage and it's got the, the grizzly here, you can really just put full unscreened material through here, and you can wash your rocks a bit. All right, so there's the system there, you can see it coming up. Uh, the water comes in here underneath that V groove right here behind this drops down out of the bottom through the system uh, Dumps in from your gate You can see the gate opens and shuts here So you can dump material All the way to wide open if you wanted uh, You can dump your material. That's it's really easy to use Hold your bucket up there. So I'm gonna set the camera here in a minute. Let me finish going through this uh, this is just uh, awning chunks for an RV. These brighter aluminum pieces here you see are for the awning uh, piece for an RV. Uh, all Everything else like this is all window frames. Uh, this was, I'm not sure what it was off of, two pieces of steel that I found that linked together pretty well, the Bolton Center. Uh, and then I got a chunk of uh, C-channel aluminum that works as my lock. So you can sit here and open the lock like this and then it'll bend and you can close the lock and it'll, the weight will hold it nice and shut so you don't, your bucket won't fall. That's your lock system. It's nice and easy to use. All this pivots and hinges off of this steel rod going underneath all this. I put a strengthening channel over the steel rod to bolt it all down to the bottom of the aluminum sign there and it comes all the way through to this side. So it's just Hose clamps keeping it centered uh, on there. I've got a, a bearing right here, bearing race holding the back end of this on. This is a safety catch. The reason that's sitting there is that's what keeps it when you go over from going all the way back uh, back and collapsing on your hand or something. It's actually a safety measure there. Uh, so let me put the camera down here for a second. I'll show you it in action uh, a few times and then uh, we can go from there. All right, there we go. Hopefully the wind doesn't blow that over. So you undo your lock, and you would just bring it down. It's down, you take the hook off the bucket, and you take your bucket, and you take a new one, set it on there. It's got this little hook here so the bucket doesn't slide forward. You can lift the system right back up again, like so. That's your lock, and it sits there nicely. So once again, you just pull your lock, bring down your system, undo the bucket, and you're ready to go once again. You can also just shovel into this bin. You don't have to use it as a bucket system. You can also prop that up. It's got a different length attachment here so that this becomes your shovel tray. Right now I have it set on the bucket mode. So one final time, you hook your hook, you lift the system up, Onto the sluice box, you engage your lock, there you go. 
Hope you enjoyed. Well, here, I'll show you the very end of it here. So here's your water flow coming in the back of your sluice box right here through that pipe coming down into the yellow bin. I have actually twin pumps for this one if I want to use them. Uh, the first stage of your water will come in through here so and then down and into that pump. So there you go. There's the full system. I hope you enjoyed.